Four more now on the third anniversary of the release of the National Enquiry's final report. We're joined by the Chief Commissioner of the Enquiry, Marion Buller. Commissioner Buller, thanks so much for being with us. Happy to be here. Uh, how do you reflect back on the National Enquiry on this third anniversary of the release of the final report? Well, first of all, uh, in some respects, it seems like yesterday. And in other respects, it seems almost like a lifetime ago. Mm -hmm. But what I can say is um, I really thought more would have been accomplished by now in three years. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, three Indigenous women have been murdered in Winnipeg in the last three weeks. Uh, in BC, the, the advocates in the family of Chelsea Poorman are calling for justice after police deemed her death was not suspicious. These are just a couple of examples of the ongoing crisis. What does it say to you that this continues? Well, uh, the continuing news of deaths and, and women going missing just shows uh, how things haven't changed, how the genocide is continuing in Canada and how governments, especially the federal government, seem to think that's acceptable. The federal government is out today touting its action on MMIWG, but the Native Women's Association uh, did a, a report card and found there was very little progress. Uh, how do you rate the federal government's record? Oh, well, first of all, it's, it's difficult for an ordinary citizen to find out what the federal government has actually accomplished in terms of implementation of our calls for justice. Uh, I don't have access to any insider information. I'm like anybody else. I have to go on the internet uh, to find out uh, what's been happening. I watch the news on APTN to find out what's happening. And it's just really difficult to find out, uh, you know, what money has been promised, what money has actually been spent, and what, if any, are the benefits of that expenditure. So um, I'm a bit in, in the dark, to be honest with you, because there just isn't an easy way to get that information. You and I spoke earlier this year. You, you talked about how you felt the federal government wasn't supporting the inquiry from before really it even started. It uh, sounds like there's zero, uh, zero interaction with uh, yourself or commissioners now. Well, I can't speak for the other commissioners, but no, I, uh, my mandate my job as chief commissioner ended on June 30th, 2019. And uh, I became a, a regular person, a citizen after that. And so, uh, no, nobody reports to me or the other commissioners about uh, what's happening or, or what isn't happening. So I'm like you and, and like your viewers, I have to do the internet searches. I have to, you know, uh, maybe pick up the phone and call somebody once in a while. Uh, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm like you. Uh, Commissioner, what would you like to see happen? Well, uh, what I'd like to see is some evidence of a shift in the way of thinking. You know, the uh, federal government has announced the expenditure of billions of dollars over a period of time. Uh, we don't know how much of that, or we don't know easily how much of that money has been spent. And we don't know easily whether that's been productive or not. Um, so having said that, I wish I could start to see a shift in thinking away from um, feeling symptom. How to describe it? Instead of uh, seeing problems, indigenous issues as being gaps in services that need band-aids in the way of money, shift that way of thinking to looking at systemic failures and fixing the systemic failures. We know that the child welfare system is broken. We know that the criminal justice system and corrections is broken. We know that uh, there are so many problems with education and housing on reserve land, for example. We know in the North Inuit, have a whole other list of priorities. So, you know, uh, 
what I'd like to see is let's get away from the band, very expensive Band-Aid measures that really don't solve the problem. And let's start looking at systems and changing the systems that are causing the problems. Good, uh, good things there. Uh, Commissioner, we're, we'll have to leave it there, but a pleasure as always to speak with you. My pleasure as well. Thank you so much.